Okay, this lump of this dog affects the Achilles tendon or not. Owner is worried about the nerves. Huh? So you can see the lateral side and then inside the medial side, there's another smaller one. One third the size of the lateral one. Lateral is very big and it's very painful so we cannot touch the dog. And uh, previously, there's another one on the right side, the stifle. You can say, you you can say, you can say, you can say, left side. Both are left side. And uh, then turn out, right Japan. So, so last time was the left stifle. And uh, it was a circumscribe, it was the egg size. Uh, and that's one also. Uh, and uh, it was removed five months ago and didn't come back at all. So, that's rather surprising. And you can see the stifle is there's no no swelling. Eh? But now we see here this hawk. How that time was four millimeter in in uh, across, but now it's of course very big. And now it becomes two lumps. The owners worry about the nerve. Eh? Whether the nerve is affected by operation. So if the lump is a hard lump under the skin, then of course the nerve not affected by operation. Uh, if it's spread to the nerve or the tendon, of course it will be affected. Though the dog cannot stand. So we have to wait two two weeks uh, of antibiotics and uh, and see uh. and uh, this dog is uh, still eating and drinking and walking right, mm. hey power and running. So we will wait two weeks with uh, anti-inflammatory antibiotics and see whether it's abscess or swelling or most likely infected lump, uh, infected tumor most likely.